Well, Ross, welcome to Parallel 9. We've never had a butler here before. Let me introduce you to the rest of the staff. <laughs> this is Ross. He is an Earth butler. Do you three know how to buckle? Oh, yes, of course. And, and allow me to help you, Hon, with your wasted coat, Mom. <laughs> allow me to brush the dandruff from your shoulders, uh, Mum. And here is your diary of... diary of events, man. How did I do? A very good lobby. We await further instructions, Mark. Further instru... Ah, go to your quarters. Dismissed. Very, very cool, cool Mum. Oh, no. oh, 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 I just can't... <laughs> Who, who are you talking to? Uh, 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 Thorb. Thorb? Who uh, to? To my mother. Hmm. How could I send a message? Where to? Uh, my planet Eastow. Uh, where's that? Eastow is two planets up from Thorb and a little to the left. Uh, uh, I will, um, I will try. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, calling East How. How. Come in East How. Are you receiving me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. You're through. <laughs> Hello, Gravy. Hey. Who's Grabby? She's my grandmother. Oh, hello, Granny Grabby. <laughs> Have you a message for your nephew? Grandson? Uh, a grandson. I uh, think so. Ha oh, yes, yes, she, she has. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. I don't. Yes. 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 Bye for now. What did she say? I don't know, but she's a very funny lady. Have you got my coloured string? Have you got my 30 merch? 30 merch? I thought it was 10. Yes, it was. And you owe me um, 20 merch for the long distance call. <laughs> right. Ooh. So you've got Ross the butler, and we're going to learn how to eat a formal meal on Earth. Mm. Would you like to start, Mr Ross? First of all, what are all these things for? Well, I mean, all these thousands of implements them. are very necessary. You start from the outside and work your way in. This is your soup spoon. This is your fish knife, which is a different shape, so that in the scullery, the maids know how to separate it from the meat when they wash it up. This is your meat, this is your cheese, and this is your son. May we demonstrate the parallel art of laying the table. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Think so. Skin. Ha. A turn. A turn. Thank you. Glass. Over. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Over. Fine. Oh. Smashed. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. Cha 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 cha. Oh, knife, fork. Cha. Thank you. Glass, rose. Ha 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 ha. Yes. <laughs> Did I serve, Mr. Ross? Thank you. How did we do? Well, adequately, but for the absence of the tablecloth. Table. The tablecloth. Thank you, think so? One tablecloth. Coming up. Coming up. Thank you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Perfect. Very, Very good, good lovey. <laughs>
walking through the rooms in my head I came across your image You looked at me with that sweet smile and said Something they won't let me repeat We had the ones we loved the most It's a sad form of compliment I don't care if you talk about me and swallow Saturday, will you please wear the hat that I sent you? All my love, <laughs> Nikki, kiss, 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 <laughs> from Bedworth in Warwickshire. Hi. Oh, well, Nikki, th th thank you. I am. Um, I'll call it my um, my thinking cap. <laughs> I think I'll wear it. Yes, I, I think uh, possibly. Maybe. It's getting. Shh, 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 shh. I'm, uh, I'm thinking. Oh. I, 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 yes. hmm. I like that. Uh, it's my, uh, it's my thinking cap. What are you thinking about? Uh, 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 my trip. Your trip? Yes, to Thor to see, uh, to see my mother. Can I come? No. Why not? Uh, because there's only room for two. Who's going with you then? Uh, me and my little friend. Hmm. Oh. I'll be very lonely here without you. Yes, you will. Because <laughs> I haven't got any other friends like you. That is quite true. <laughs> I, would you like to 
have a little friend like mine while I'm away. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, please. Hold out your hand. Your, your, your left hand. <laughs> hold tight. Close it tight. There you are. You can speak to your Granny Grabby whenever you like. <laughs> Couldn't I contact you on Thorb? No. Oh, please. Ah, very well. <laughs> Let's have a practice. I'm, OK. Ooh, you. I'm reading you clear and loud. <laughs> it works. <laughs> well, um, this is a goodbye. I think so. Good. Goodbye. Bye. Skin. I shall. Uh, I shall miss you. I shall miss you too. Shall we do a goodbye nose dance? Could we have one with words? Yes. Say the last dance for me. Two lonely people together. You've helped me so much and given me so much information. I would like to offer you the chance of meeting someone from the past oh. out of your own history. Who would you choose? Oh, golly, that's awfully difficult because there are lots is of there... really eminent astronomers. But I, I can think of one. One. One who I'd really love to meet. I'll tell you who it is. Yes. A bloke called Galileo, Galileo. who lived around the beginning of the 17th century and he was the first bloke to actually look at the stars through a telescope. I'd love to meet him. You'd like to meet him? Yes. I shall place upon skin to become Galileo. Oh, wow. My God. Galileo! I am here, I am here on my dream star. Did it, I dream this? It's, it's fantastic. It is. You happened 400 years ago. I did. You, but you don't look 400 years old. I feel young. You're you, a younger man. No. Well, let me introduce myself. Who are you? I'm Heather, and I'm a modern astronomer. May I call you Bellissima? Well, I mean, well, we all depend on you because you were the first person to look through a telescope. What was I it was, like? It was, uh, it was uh, fantastic, magnificent. I, I first saw three times, three times the human visible eye worth. Then I saw ten times, twenty times, oh. thirty-two times. And what did you first look at? I first looked at Jupiter. Now, tonight we could look at Jupiter we because could. Jupiter is the brightest object in the sky at the it moment. four moons. And you discovered the I four discovered moons. the four moons. That's fantastic. Now, it's incredible because what you said, I, I, I saw it written down, but you can tell me for yourself. You said that since full moons circle Jupiter, not everything had to circle the Earth as they once thought. That is right. The Greeks, the Greeks, they believed. They believed for hundreds of years that, that uh, we were the centre oh, of the universe. Oh, silly, silly. I proved this theory wrong. You... Of course, the church did not like this. The church yes. were very much against this coming out. They you only... must have known this. They... I know. And in fact, only about 20 years ago did the church actually admit that everything goes around the sun. They have admitted it now. I know, it's good. But it you, is good. you made so many more discoveries. Now, in fact, what, what you don't Bellissima, know... Bellissima, you have beautiful eyes. Gal May I tell you? Signor Galileo, you no, I Signor must Galileo, say, we... you know, I want you to know everything about me. Everything. You know, you know I am not married. I don't mind. I am not married. Galileo, we have been into space. We've actually gone and walked on the moon. We have sent robot... You don't know what a robot is. We have sent a robot. unmanned... Robot. It, means... it is a name. It is a name. It, it means we have sent unmanned craft with special sensors to other planets. We have actually now found the hidden meaning the structure of the universe. Do you remember the Milky Way? I do. Tell me what you saw. I saw the separate stars of the Milky oh, Way. Oh, with your Do you tester. know where I was born? Uh, in Pisa? That is correct. And, and do you know what I found? Mm -hmm. In the Cathedral of Pisa. Do you know what was there? No. What it was I discovered? What? You know, you have all this information. You know not to know what I, I, I discovered. I'm there. afraid I don't. I was watching a hanging lamp swinging to and fro, oh. to and fro. No, I'm Galileo. Sorry. I know I did not mean. I seriously, and it, it, the, the, I suddenly noticed it did not matter how large or how small the swing of the lamp was; it always went at the same speed. So you could invent the clock pendulum. You could from measure that. time you can, from we, that hanging lamp oh, in the cathedral. Talking of measuring time, only three weeks ago we actually found out how our universe began. One of our orbiting space probes, oh, I must tell you about space probes, how discovered the beginning of the universe. The beginning? Yes. Tell me about the beginning. It discovered the first ripples in the fabric of time that made the stars and planets and galaxies and you and me. It was amazing. It's fantastic. Yes. You must tell me. But first, let me gaze into your eyes. Oh, Galileo. I see the four moons of Jupiter right now. I see the Milky Bar uh, the Milky Way. <laughs> I see all these things. Will you come on a tour of parallel Norway with me? I would love to. And we will sing from the bridge. Yes. And talk I, I, and gaze 
into the stars of your eyes. Mr. Galileo, if you would kindly show me exactly where we are on this map, then maybe Cal and I could get out of here. Well, I suspect that by my calculations you are around about here. Where? Right there. Where over there? At, at the little star by the big bear's bottom. Ah, thank you, Mr. Galileo. My pleasure. Steel! Yes! Have you seen Skin? No, I haven't. Cal, have you seen him? No, and I can't go. What do you mean you can't go, Cal? I'm sorry, I've changed my mind. May the force be with you. Oh, I'm going to get to... Oh! Who's this? This is Mr. Galileo, and he is coming with me. Oh. Hello. Out of the depths. Yes. I, I am sure we could have been friends in a different time. <laughs> Until that time, my friend. Out of the depths. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. Out of the depths. Mr. Galileo, I need your services for I navigation. We go. Right. Energize the gravity fuel coagulators. A checker. Energize the gravity neutralization system. A check. It's a very nice tunic that you're wearing, actually, Mr. But you would Galileo. prefer it if it were a check. Huh. Countdown. Nove. Nove. Otto. Otto. Sette. Sette. Sei. Sei. Cinque. Cinque. Qu A nice mm -hmm. trip. I got you a little friend. <gasps> My little friend. And a present. <laughs> ah, thank you. Think so? That's the little black box. The hey, one uh, never took hey, you silly hey, hey, what okay. are you doing? We're just doing the parallel nine ear dance, Mercator. Wonderful, wonderful. You've used your intelligence to learn how to use the toad to summon objects. You took a great risk and very nearly lost your lives. And who saved you? Think so, I think. And we have learned to hang on to each other, get in line and stay in line. And we can do the air. 